Airtel has launched the first 3G service in Central Africa with the capability to allow users to now make video calls, watch TV live, send and receive emails and download music from the internet on enabled devices. For the details, we're heading over to Brazzaville in the Republic of Congo. Chimoko Kulibali is the CEO for Francophone Africa at Airtel. Thanks so much, Mr. Kulibali. This is a huge event, the entry of 3G into Central Africa. Why did it take so long? to get 3G into this part of Africa? I think you are right. This is a very big event today. Uh, it took some time to come into the market because the 3G launch by operators is linked to the availability of the license. And uh, the government, it took some time in general, uh, it took some time uh, to the government to issue licenses. Mm. And the good news is that it's happened here in Congo B. It's the very first in Central Africa. And in the Francophone environment is a second country. And we are launching mm -hmm. here one of the latest technology, which is the HSDPA, right. uh, which uh, this kind of technology has already been launched in Europe and the US. Uh, definitely today it's a big event. What is the infrastructure like in Congo, Brazzaville and in the region in general? Do you literally have to start building from scratch? Um, the infrastructure currently is a 2G infrastructure, mainly providing uh, opportunities for call and from some bus and some data. And uh, we're talking for Airtel at least of several uh, billions of investment in the countries we are currently operating in. I'm referring to DRC, I'm referring to Congo B, mm. Gabon, Chad, etc., etc. And uh, what is new today is that we are moving to another stage. Uh, we are entering in the data market, which definitely is going to offer mm. uh, additional opportunities. The consumer behavior, Mr. Koulibaly, how much demand is there for internet and data services in Central Africa? I think the demand is quite important. Today, if you go around the city here in Brazzaville, you will see a lot of cyber cafe uh, where the youth, uh, even uh, SME, small and medium uh, size enterprises uh, operators, are going to be connected to the world. And uh, the demand is there, uh, but generally the quality is poor uh, mm. and the speed as well. And uh, definitely coming with a 3G today is going to, uh, to change the landscape. There is a move to partner with local service providers on issues like content and software. Are you going to be working with uh, the regional um, IT um, industry to try to provide content that's relevant to this market? As you may probably be aware, we have signed uh, last year, some few months ago, a global partnership with IBM. Okay, IBM taking care of all our IT needs, planning, et cetera, et cetera, across our uh, 16 operations in Africa. Uh, and definitely part of the agenda of IBM is going to be uh, not only to partner with the biggest developers across the world, but definitely to build local ecosystems right. so that uh, they are relevant to people and to the realities on the ground. Well, we wish you well on the work that you're doing. Thank you so much for being with us. Tiamoko Kulibali, CEO for Francophone Africa at the Airtel Group, joining us there about the launch of the 3G um, infrastructure in Republic of Congo.